What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today, and the ink has literally just dried here on this contract between Top Flight Security of the World and Network Your Future. Again, this is a facetious contract, but the series that I'm going to present to you is actually very real. It's actually opportunities that come across in the world for IT corporations or freelancers. So there's definitely a lot of benefits that are going to come out of this series. But let's go ahead and take a look at this contract and walk through the game plan. So what we see up top is the contract number. This is kind of legally binding, so you definitely want to make sure that you got one of those when executing a contract. And right there below, the contract is between Craig Jones, the primary point of contact of Top Flight Security of the World, and Network Your Future. I myself, Andre King, will be the primary point of contact there. The scope of work is outlined here, which is to conduct a proof of concept for deploying a single virtual Palo Alto firewall in the contractor sandbox AWS environment. So we're actually gonna get our hands dirty configuring not only AWS, but this virtual Palo Alto firewall and learning so, so much here. The deliverables are really key. And this is what the paying client is gonna actually wanna see delivered to them. So as we can see here, the contractor shall provide a network drawing of the final architecture and a comprehensive report with findings that include. So that network drawing it's going to be a logical drawing that represents the IP addressing, the ports, the interfaces. And if you haven't ever seen one of those, then we're going to get our hands dirty. I'm going to show you a few different applications that you can use, some free, some paid. And of course, the AWS icons that come standard from them and we'll massage that to come up with a polished network drawing. But the various topics that we're going to discuss Basically, these are going to outline the videos that you're going to see here in this series. First up, the deployment and configuration. The client wants to see how the Palo Alto virtual firewall was deployed and configured in the AWS environment. So before we do that video, we're actually going to have a planning session where we carve up some IP spacing, the subnets, the route tables, basically get the network portion down before we actually launch that EC2 instance. And then we'll detail in that final report some of the steps that we included. Of course, we typically start with the vendor's documentation, not only for the recommended EC2 instance size, but for some lessons that have been learned. Maybe they ha might have a, um, uh, a solution that's recommended from the vendor. Next up is traffic filtering. Demonstrate the ability of the firewall to permit or deny traffic based on the client's criteria. So we're going to have to come up with something here because the client didn't specify their criteria here, but we'll have some sample use cases of different ports and protocols that we either permit or deny both on the AWS side through the use of security groups, as well as configured inside of the firewall. And again, that will be detailed in that final report as well. Next up, threat prevention. The client wants us to show evidence of threat detection capabilities such as identifying malware, unauthorized access attempts, etc. So what I'm thinking here is that we actually need a client inside of our environment to send outbound traffic to known malicious sites or different things that might have payloads that will be blocked on the response. It's going to be tough to know um, or deterministically know of anyone out there in the world trying to hit this firewall and send malicious packets. But you can best bet guarantee when that public ENI goes up that there's going to be some attempts to log in uh, from other countries around the globe. So definitely going to have to secure this virtual firewall and we'll, we'll do that. VPN capabilities. This may move down the list in the order. This isn't the exact order of the videos that we're going to do, but Palo Alto's client software is called Global Protect. Uh, if you use Cisco, you may know of any connect. And so if you use Post Secure, for example, um, for Ivanti, they have Post Connect Secure. So different firewalls provide the software side for client VPN to basically terminate back to a head and gateway, which this firewall would represent. So we're going to play around with some basic configurations there. Do some sample use cases and see what we can and cannot do 
while logged on to the VPN. And that's gonna be a pretty good video to put together to add to this series. Logging and monitoring. AWS, of course, provides basic monitoring for any EC2 instance that's log that's um, that's launched. My apologies there. You can enable enhanced monitoring, um, which gives you minute by minute details of different metrics such as CPU utilization, bandwidth, uh, in and out payloads. But by default, that free uh, monitoring, that basic is, I think, 15 minute intervals, five or 15. I think it might be five that you see there, but we'll check that out in the dashboard. And uh, we may set up some syslog traffic to be sent and we'll have to figure that out because again, we also want to keep our costs down here in this uh, proof of concept so that we don't end up having an extravagant uh, bill here um, while we're basically deploying this throughout the series. But this will be a pretty good thing because you always want to have network visibility, not only of the traffic coming in, but also um, for just not you, the single person that's managing and monitoring it, but for someone uh, like a SOC, a security operations center, to have uh, eyes and ears on that traffic as well. Performance metrics, benchmarking information, including throughput latency and other relevant metrics. We just touched upon some of the basic monitoring that AWS will provide, um, but even in the CLI, we'll get in there and uh, see how we can do some outputs and perhaps on that, that host that we deploy inside of the AWS environment, we may launch an application if we deploy a Linux box such as iPerf, where we can uh, emulate um, basically sending out tons of packets uh, to do some sort of speed testing to see the throughput or to get it up there. Because this isn't gonna be deployed in a production environment, the uh, traffic that's coming in and out is gonna be pretty low. It's, basically going to be limited to what we do, whether it's pings, whether it's initiating outbound connections or anyone out there in the world that's trying to attempt uh, port 443, 80 or 22 uh, connections inbound to the firewall. And last but not least, cost analysis. So on almost any contract, uh, the client may have a general idea of what it costs just by Googling it but they really want to know, like not just one cost, they're going to probably want to know what's a one year plan, a three year plan, different sizes, or if we grow. So we're going to have to provide some cost analysis for different use cases there as well. And I'll show you Palo Alto's uh, pricing calculator. Uh, they've moved towards a flexible credit model and AWS, of course, for the EBS, the, the storage, that comes on the EC2 instance, as well as the EC2 costs. And we won't do a transit gateway for separate pin or anything like that, but I'll show you how you would actually do both of those separates and combine those into a pretty neat table to provide to the customer on that one as well. And we'll go ahead and close this recommendations. The client has wants to see conclusions and suggestions for potential full scale implementation along with thoughts on deployment of a high availability model. So Palo Alto, as well as any other virtual firewall, or most I should say, I don't like using that word all uh, very often, but they do support high availability. There may be some drawbacks depending on if you have tunnels coming in and ensuring that you basically can um, send traffic down one path and not block the response back out if it comes through the other firewall. So some fine tuning there. We won't actually configure that, but we'll give some recommendations. Um, AWS has a pretty good tool called the Gateway Load Balancer that we probably would suggest for something like that. And so the timeline, the, the client is looking for this proof of concept to be completed and the report to be delivered no later than the 30th of this month. So we've got less than 30 days to complete, plan, implement, deploy, and of course, evaluate each of these uh, components here and to provide all of that data and information in a report that'll be presented to them. Typically, they may want to have a briefing, a, a 30 minute or longer report to where they may want to see it demonstrated. They may have a group or team of engineers that of course, has some questions that they want to ask about the product or 
the architecture that's deployed in the sandbox environment. But for now, that final report will serve as our deliverable so we can get that cash and the compensation. The contractor or network your future will be compensated a total sum of $5,000 upon successful completion and acceptance of the deliverables. And of course that confidentiality uh, statement there is pretty, pretty typical as well. And of course the signature signed sealed here. So again, 29 days and counting to complete each of these. I'm super, super ecstatic about what's to come. Probably going to get right to cranking out uh, some content here this evening on that planning session here. So definitely look for that video to come out sometime in the next day or two. But please drop a comment down below if you made it this far in the video and let me know what piece of this are you most excited about. And if there's anything that you want to see specifically um, as it relates to Palo Alto or AWS. But I want to thank each and every one of you again out there for rocking with me. Till next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves.